What is up guys, welcome back to another flea market grab video. If you guys are enjoying the videos, please hit that like button. It lets me know, it helps the channel grow. Go ahead and drop a comment down below. I try to respond to all the comments I can and hit that sub button if you guys are not already and you guys do enjoy these videos. So let's go see what we can find this week. Went back to the guy I got the other hats from and he had this one on the table this time. I've had this hat before. This uh, sports specialties Mavs hat. It is a Velcro back though instead of a snap so that kind of sucks. Every time I see this shoe it always gets me. I always think they're ying yings. girls fighting on it like their shadows I wish it was like I don't know a little less boring <laughs> Dallas Stars pro player jacket size large how much they want for it i hope that's supposed to say hard disc Let's scoop these up for uh 12 dollars people sleep on these there's a super clean colorway like these and all the other ones that came out with the elephant print they are a hive but the reason people sleep on them is because of that also the quality is kind of not that great <laughs> but um super clean colorway and 12 bucks can't really beat that st louis blue snapback paid five bucks for it Pretty dope, you got the logo on the back, number one, two on the back. Not too bad for five bucks. Classic Chuck E. Cheese title. <laughs> Pay five bucks, it's complete. Great shape too. So I just posted a picture yesterday on my Facebook of my shoe collection from like three years ago, 2017. And there was one shoe in that picture that I said I regret getting rid of. And I just found another pair, the Toro fours. So the sucky thing about these is they're a size 11. Um, but so are my Travis Scott fours and they fit. So I'm hoping, I'm gonna try, try to make these work. Cause this is one that uh, I regret getting rid of and um, been looking for again. Only thing is one of them's missing the back tab and they do have like some scuffing. But I mean, I think that's a pretty easy fix and I only pay 10 bucks for them. So we'll see what I can do with these. Picked up a console only original Xbox. Um, he wanted 15 for it, but I offered him 10. Cause it's just a console only, so I figure 10 bucks is not too bad, considering if it works or not anyway. Mystic Ninja. <laughs> Shoes continue, $10 each. A pair of, um, he got games and a pair of True Blues. He got games are 7Y, unfortunately, but the True Blues are a size 11. Cool little $10 find. Been wanting to get an extra copy of this game for a while now, and I should have an empty case for it at home, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully. This Animal Kingdom hat's pretty dope, I'm not gonna lie. 1998. Found a bunch of these vintage toddler shirts. Wish they were bigger, but, uh, some crazy ones in here they're all like originals from the 80s some he-man ones this is probably this has to be my favorite one because this is my fav one of my favorite movies of all time the goonies t from 1985 it's crazy 
We've got Cookie Monster, another E-Man one. Dukes of Hazard <laughs> with the shorts. We got a Rainbow Bright sheet. The Snoopy Dallas Cowboys. And then another Snoopy one. They're all kid sizes, which suck, but definitely some uh, gems in here. Grabbed a couple more things. Um, I guess I'm collecting these now. <laughs> these uh, Yu-Gi-Oh figures, you got a blue eyes. This I picked up, the PS4 headset, the VR. It's just the only the headset. I don't know what you need to play it, so uh, maybe you guys can let me know. But uh, I paid 30 bucks for it. This is something I've been wanting for a while, so I grabbed that. And then I picked up this uh, Randy Moss Vikings Puma jersey. And that one's still pretty clean too. And then I don't know if I showed y'all guys when I picked that up for two bucks. But uh, yeah, let's go home and uh, I'll do the pickup part. All right guys, we are back and I'm gonna show you guys everything I picked up this weekend. So let's go ahead and jump into it because I actually got quite a few things to show you guys. So let's start off with the video games like I usually do. First up for 10 bucks, I picked up a copy of Pokemon Black on the uh, original DS. A friend of mine actually gave me the case for it a while back. Shout out Straight Up Classics. So I have the case for this, I just gotta find it. I have it put up somewhere. So I figured for 10 bucks, I go ahead and grab this game. This game has actually went up. It's like a 40 50 dollar game now for whatever reason but this one my brother told me he's actually wants to play again so i kind of picked it up just for that next up for five bucks uh definitely a chuck e cheese classic and that is hydro thunder on the ps1 i remember going and playing this game with the whole arcade setup like the whole lever and everything definitely a really fun racing game this one is complete and everything this is in great shape this one i will be holding on to in my personal collection i want to say this is like a 25 dollar game and I picked that one up for five bucks. These next four I picked up, I paid $6 total for them. Unfortunately, two of them are missing the disc, but I already knew that. Um, but these cases, I figured they were worth grabbing. The two empty ones, the first one is Vampire Knight on the PS2. Never played this game personally, but this one does have the manual and everything. I think complete this game is like a $35, $40 game. So I figured uh, I'll go ahead and grab the case in case somebody's looking for it. You'd be surprised how much some of these cases sell for. And then the second one I got, again, just the case is Ninja Assault on the uh, PS2 by Namco. And uh, that one's the same, has the manual and everything with no disc. Next one I got in that group for six bucks is a copy of Capcom Classics on the uh, original Xbox. That one is complete. If you look on the case, um, definitely some classics on there. And then the last thing I picked up in that group for six bucks, this one I kind of picked up just because I thought it was kind of funny. I um, mean, it's a uh, Mystical Ninja. I guess they made a TV show for it. I don't remember it at all, but I just got him to throw this one in with the rest of the stuff for six bucks. And then also from the guy that I picked up those games from for six bucks, I also picked this up for 10. I haven't got around to testing it yet, um, but it's an original Xbox console, no cables or nothing. But for only $10, I figured I'd go ahead and take the gamble on it. So um, I'm hoping this thing works. And then the last video game item I picked up, this one I will be keeping hopefully if it works. This is again another thing I haven't tested yet, but it's something I've been wanting for a while. And it is the uh, PS4 VR right here. Picked this up for only $30. I'm not too sure if it's gonna work or not. And honestly, I don't even know what I need to play it. Anybody who actually owns this, let me know like what else I need so I can play it. Um, like I said, I paid 30 bucks for it, but just the headset alone, I saw it was going for like over a hundred bucks. And like I said, this is something I've actually been wanting to play. I have a couple of friends who have it and they tell me it's definitely worth getting. And I figured even if it doesn't work, I can probably sell it for parts for more than the 30 bucks I spent on it. So that's all the video games. I did pick up a couple toys and stuff, animals. First one is, I guess I'm gonna start collecting these because I own like two of them already. So I kind of have them already like displayed. Um, but I picked this one up, the Blue Eyes White Dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh. I guess he's supposed to have like a bullet in his mouth, but it's missing it, but that's okay. I just wanted more for display. I already have the Celtic Guardian and Exodia, so I figured when I saw this, I'd go ahead and scoop that up. I used to have the Ultimate Dragon as well, but I ended up giving it to my cousin a while back before I decided I was going to start collecting them anyway. Picked up a couple stuffed animals. I paid $3 a piece for these. First one is Finnegan from Pokemon. I uh, got this one really just to resell. Figured I can at least get like 15 bucks for it. Probably one of my least favorite starters, to be honest. The second one I got is this character right here from Naruto. I don't know what his name is. I'm not a Naruto fan, but I have lots of friends and family who are into Naruto. So that's why I scooped it up. And my cousin actually messaged me and told me he wants it. So I'm gonna hold on to it until I see him. And then the last thing I picked up, um, again for three bucks from the same people, is this uh, vintage Lion King backpack. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> The way Simba's like laid out, kind of like he uh, fell and went splat on the ground. But it's like a backpack wearing a backpack. So whenever you wear it, I guess it's like he's hugging your back and then you put stuff in his backpack. 
I don't know, I just thought it was kind of cool. I paid three bucks for it. Next item I picked up, I picked up a backpack, paid $2 for this. And it's this uh, Powerpuff Girls backpack from 2001. Still pretty clean overall, which is why I scooped it up. It does have a couple little snags down here at the bottom, but they're not holes. They're just like little snags, I guess, from getting dragged around. So I saw this for only two bucks. I figured somebody would be interested in it, especially the way like cartoon and video game stuff is doing right now. So I went ahead and scooped that one up. Now let's go ahead and jump into the clothing item. So you guys saw that I found that big lot of uh, vintage toddler clothes. Uh, when I went up to pay for it, the dude told me just give him $5 for everything. So I paid $5 for everything I'm about to show you. So the first thing we got is this uh, 1983 Rainbow Bright sheet. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, but it's dated 1983 right here. And then you just have like all the characters all throughout it. I haven't unfolded it, but I'm pretty sure it's a twin. Like all these sheets like this are twins. As you can see, you got all the characters right there on it. So that was the first thing. Next item I got. This one is a youth size small. Got the Pittsburgh Steelers uh, Logo 7 shirt right there. Nothing too crazy on this one. Picked up this little tiny Supersonics thing from the 70s. I don't know what this scary monster is on there, <laughs> uh, but I figured i uh, go ahead and scoop that one up. This one's probably one of my favorites in the little lot. Uh, the vintage Snoopy Dallas Cowboys sweater right here. This thing is like super tiny, but it's actually still pretty clean for it to be white. You got the stars like all along the sleeves. We got another uh, 70s Supersonic tee right here. This one does have this little tiny hole, but that one is from 78, 79 season. As you can see, 78, 79 world champions. That one is a youth medium. We got the 1985 Cabbage Patch Kids shirt right here. Next up, we got the 1981 Cookie Monster Sesame Street tee right here. Then we got the 1982 Smurfette Smurfs tee right there. This one's actually still new with tags. It's a Snoopy uh, crew neck right here. It says where the cool go to school. <laughs> you got like all the Woodstocks. This is actually one of the cooler ones in here as well. The 1985 Han Solo uh, Star Wars tee right here from Return of the Jedi. Or it's 1983, my bad, not 85. So definitely one of the cooler ones in there as well. And then here I have actually the, a matching set. We got the Dukes of Hazard tee right here. This one's actually not dated, so I don't know what date this one's from, but I'm sure it's like in the 80s, just like all the other ones. And then with that, there's also the matching shorts, <laughs> which uh, you can see has the Dukes of Hazard right there. This is actually a little set. And then I have not one, but two of these He-Man tees. First one is right here, Master of the Universe. That one's dated 1982. And then the second one, this one is dated 1983, and it says, By the Power of Grayskull. And then I say my personal favorite for last, one of my favorite movies of all time, we got the Goonies tee right here. We have Mikey and Data on the front and it says Goonies. This one is dated 1985 as well. So definitely some great tees. If those were men's sizes, it would be crazy, but they're all toddler sizes, youth sizes, like I said. But I got them all for $5 total. So I don't even know how many items I got, but for only five bucks for all that, I'll take it all day, every day. Next thing I picked up for two bucks, we got the Competitors View Dale Earnhardt denim shirt right here. Nothing crazy, it's just a denim, all over denim shirt. And you got Dale Earnhardt embroidered on the chest. Good wrench on the pocket. That one is a size XL, but this thing looks pretty big. Kind of looks more like a 2X. So that's that one. Next one I picked up is a crew neck. Paid two bucks for this one. This one's staying in my personal collection. And that is the Chicago Bulls crew neck right here. Bulls spelled out on the front. And you have like the basket picture right there on the front too with the logo. That one is by Bike. Bikey, I don't know how to pronounce that, but I actually have a Raptors crew neck by the same brand as well. And it's a size XL, so this one I will be keeping for my personal collection. These next four tees I got all from the same person. They were like in some boxes, and he said everything was a dollar in the boxes. There was like multiple of the, this first one I'm gonna show you guys, but a lot of them were stained up. So I only grabbed two that I could find that were like clean with no stains. And that tee is this shirt right here. The Atlanta 1996 uh, volleyball tees right here. It sucks because they were all 2X, so I couldn't keep any of them because they're um, too big. But as you can see, they are all, they were all new with tags. I would have probably grabbed more of them, but like I was saying, they were all stained up. Um, I guess they got like wet or something. I don't know. I did manage to find a couple that weren't. So this is the first one. Second one is the same thing, so I'm not going to like unfold it and show you guys. But as you can see, it's still new with tags, 2X, just like the other one. And then the other two tees I got also, um, there was three of these, but one of them was super stained, so I only got two. And they are Youth XL, so that kind of sucks, so it's like a men's small. It's these uh, 1997 Florida Marlin Champion shirts. And just like the other one, these are brand new as well. As you can see, they still have the little stickers on it. And those are on a Delta tag size XL, Youth XL. And I got two of those. Sticking with the theme of Florida, picked up a Nike Florida Dolphins jersey. Shout out to Straight Up Classics again. He, he actually um, was on his way out 
and um, I was about to leave as well and he told me as he was driving out he saw this hanging up on somebody's booth so I went back to go check how much it was it was five bucks so I picked it up and it's the Taylor uh, Miami Dolphins jersey right here by Nike number 99 Taylor on the back and on the front there you go still super clean too no, not really any cracking on it. And that one is a size 2XL. So I figured that wasn't too bad for only five bucks. And then this jersey I actually got from the same people that Dolphins jersey came from. But this one I got um, a, like a maybe like an hour before they put that one out. This one I paid five bucks for as well. It's the Randy Moss um, Vikings jersey. 84 Moss on the back. That one is a size XL. That one's actually by Puma. And again, no cracking in this one as well. Just needs uh, probably a washing. And then the last clothing item I picked up, paid five bucks for this. This was actually the very first thing I found today at the flea market when I went. And it's the Dallas Stars Pro Player jacket right here. Shout out to the Dallas Stars for making it to the Stanley Cup. There's the Pro Player tag on the inside, Pro Player zipper. It's actually a size large, but it's like a parka, so it's pretty big. Dallas Stars right here on this front pocket. And then on both sleeves around it, you have like the Dallas Stars going around. And then the Pro Player down here on the sleeve. And then nothing on the back besides the Dallas Stars logo up by the neck. And again, super clean. This one does not have a hood, but I don't think it had one to begin with. Cause I don't see anywhere where the hood would like zip onto or snap onto or anything like that. So I'm assuming they just didn't have hoods on this one, but you can't beat five bucks. Now let's get into the hats. I've picked up 10 hats this week. So these first four, I paid $3 a piece for. First one is this AJD Dallas Cowboys snapback right here. Nothing crazy, just the logo on the front with the arch. And you got the little uh, official product back here on the back. That one is by AJD, like I said. Second one I grabbed, the John Deere snapback right here. Very simple, just the John Deere patch on the front. I know some of these are I can go for like a decent amount of money but there's no uh, tag on the inside so I don't know what brand it is but figured for three bucks I'd grab it third one I grabbed is the Dallas Mavericks sports specialties hat right here I've had this one before in the past this is my second time finding it you got the old logo right there on the front this one is a velcro back as you can see and like I said that one's by sports specialties so that's the third one and then the last one I grabbed nothing amazing just a master's hat right here you got the Masters logo right down the front. And that one is a strap back. There's the tag by American Needle. These are always like quick $20 hats, so I figured I'd go ahead and grab that one. Moving on, next hat I picked up, paid three bucks for this one as well, but from a different vendor. We got the 1998 Tweety hat. All black, you just have Tweety embroidered right down the front. That one is by Warner Brothers, and it's dated 1998. Super simple, but three bucks, went ahead and grabbed it. These next two I paid $3 a piece for. Kind of tempted to keep one of them, but I'm probably not, honestly. But the first one, we got the Goofy hat right here. Goofy outdoors just goofy outdoors on the front it's like a khaki with the brown brim Disney store tag and then the brown leather uh, strap that's the first one then the second one I'm actually kind of tempted to keep but I don't know if I am or not and it is the Disney Animal Kingdom hat right here so on the brim embossed you have Disney Animal Kingdom on the top it's like a brown suede and then embroidered on the hat you have like the elephant the dragon and the uh, rhinoceros really cool graphic on this one again khaki with the brown brim brown leather uh, strap and then on the back you have a new species of theme park opens 1998 and that's on that goofy's hat co tag so that's those for three dollars a piece next one i paid three bucks for as well he wanted four but then he told me he would just do three on it it's the texas rangers uh, logo hat right here nothing amazing pretty simple and that one is actually by logo seven Super simple, but people are always looking for these as well. And then these next two I paid $5 a piece for. One of them, I don't know if it's legit or not. <laughs> um, like, I'm pretty sure it's fake. But I figured I'd pick it up anyway. But the first one I picked up, this one's actually pretty cool. It's the St. Louis Blues snapback right here. On the front embroidery, you have St. Louis Blues with the logo. I really like the font they use on the blues. Then you have St. Louis Blues on the side as well. And then number one embroidered back here on the back. And that one is by number one apparel. This is one I was kind of tempted to keep, but I don't think I need it, honestly. Um, I'm not a blues fan, so I don't need it. And then the second one, this is the one that I think is fake. And it's the Dallas Cowboys um, shark tooth right here. But I don't know, like this upper is super faded. I don't know, maybe you guys can let me know. I mean, I only paid five bucks for it, so either way, I don't really care. But as you can see, like the upper is faded. It's like a faded blue compared to the brim. And then on the inside, this pro line tag just looks weird. Like, let me get my other one to show you. So here's mine right here. As you can see, like how faded that upper is compared to this one. And then look at the difference in the pro line tag. This is the one I have, the authentic one, and this is the one I just got. Um, I don't know if like they made the tags different or not. 
you guys can let me know. I'm not like a super expert in hats or anything like that. But I figured for five bucks, why not take the gamble on it, I guess. So that's all the clothing and everything else I picked up. Now I'm gonna show you the shoes I picked up. I actually picked up six pairs this weekend. But one of those pairs I do not have anymore. I actually sold them already. And that was the pair of the Alpha Chicago Ones that I found. I don't know how many of you remember the Alpha Ones. They were like um, an updated version of the one that they made a couple years ago. But I figured uh, since they were the Chicago colorway, I'd go ahead and pick them up. And I knew somebody was gonna be interested in them. And um, I actually already sold them. I ended up picking those up for 15 bucks, but I don't have them no more in hand to show you guys. So moving on, uh, the next one I picked up, paid $10 for these. It's a pair of the Tinker Kobe 11s right here. Unfortunately, they are a youth size six and a half, which sucks because I really do like this colorway. It's kind of like a black cement three bread four colorway going on, which makes sense because it is the Tinker. As you can see, it has the gray tongue, white midsole, black and gray upper with the red accents. On the right shoe, you have Nike. And then on the left shoe, you have like the four lines. And a cool detail on these is behind the tongue. You have the Kobe's Times Tinker right there. Even though they are a U size, I wanted to grab these, pay 10 bucks for them. Next one I picked up, pay $12 for these. Underrated shoe in my opinion. Like this whole pack, there was different colors, but I think this is probably the best one out of them. And it's the Cement Jordan ones right here. So these are a high, but the reason people don't really like talk about them or mess with them is because of this, the Jumpman on the back and then the Jumpman on the tongue. Also, they're pretty cheap feeling, like the materials on them, the quality is not good on these at all. But as far as like the colorway goes, I really like this colorway, just the cement print with the black hint. And these are actually still pretty clean overall too. They just need a cleaning and they'll be good to go. These next two, I got two for 20. The dude wanted $12 a piece on them, but he told me if I took both that he would give them to me for 10. So I went ahead and grabbed both of them. First pair we got is another pair of True Blue 3s. I find this pair of 3s all the time. They're not like in the best shape, but for only 10 bucks, I figured it was still a decent deal. This one has some creasing. Right shoe is not too bad, like as far as the midsole. But the left shoe, as you can see, it does have some paint chipping already in the back as well. But somebody will buy these and repaint them and they'll have a pair of uh, True Blue 3s. And then the second one I got from that guy for 10 bucks is a pair of the He Got Game 13s right here. Again, size seven wide, so they are a youth size. And these are actually still in pretty decent shape. The only issue with these, um, just like every other 13, is that the pods are yellowed. But other than that, the uppers are actually still in good shape, as you guys can see. They do have a little bit of drag too on the back, but definitely a classic uh, colorway and a classic shoe to have. So that's those, I got uh, two for 20. And then this next pair, <laughs> funny story with these. So I found these Saturday morning, um, and I actually posted on my Facebook Friday. You know how they show you like those memory things of what you posted like a couple years ago, whatever. Well, one actually came up with my sneaker collection from 2017 and I like reposted it and I put in the caption, um, out of all the shoes in this picture that this was the shoe that I regret getting rid of the most. And then the next day I found a pair in my size. Well, kind of my size, I'll explain. And the best thing is I only paid $10 for these. And that is a pair of the Toro Jordan 4s right here. So as you can see, uh, they do have like a little bit of paint chipping right here on the midsole. It's not too bad though. It's more like on the inside, but you don't really see that, so I don't care. So I was, like I was saying um, with them almost being my size, they are a size 11. Um, I wear like a 10, 10 and a half. But this is one that I've been looking for forever to get back in my collection ever since I got rid of my pair. And um, actually my Travis Scott's are a size 11 but they fit me fine. So I'm assuming these are gonna fit the same way. And if they do, then I'm definitely gonna be keeping these. Now there was a reason why they were so cheap and I'm hoping I can fix it. I don't know how hard it is to fix this, but I'm sh I know you can do it. And that is on the left shoe, it's actually missing the back heel tab, which these plastic heel tabs or rubber, whatever they are, they break off so easily every time on these fours. That's why I prefer whenever they're leather because they don't break at all. If it wasn't for that heel tab missing, these would have been in decent shape and um, I would have been happy with them, but I can't see myself wearing one with a broken heel tab and one with a normal heel tab. So I'm gonna actually be sitting on these until I can figure out how to fix this. But even with that flaw, I'm still happy to have these, especially paying only 10 bucks because the price on these just keeps on going up. So I will be holding on to these. So those are my flea market grabs for this weekend, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe down below and drop a comment, and I will see you guys next week with another one, so later.